just got the locking collar loosened up. It was really difficult to do, so I had to use these instead of the spanner wrench. The spanner wrench just kept stripping it. So now I should be able to spin my bag down freely. Just need to take off my airline right here, and I should be able to spin it down. Probably just gonna go to like maybe like halfway, and then we'll just do it the same with the other side. Okay, so I just got the wheel on and now I'm gonna do the first test. So I still have about like an inch more to go and I'm just gonna test it right now just to see if it hits the strut. I trust that it won't hit, but I'm only gonna find out by driving it and testing it. Boom. Damn, that's right height. Uh, that's my right height. Right. I'm just gonna air it out. Boom. Damn. Yeah. Bro. Almost made me Dude, I, I should just freaking air it. Max it out? It. Yeah. All right, so I just went for a quick little test run with the car and I tested it at full wheel lock and everything and it's not hitting at all. So that's a good thing. So that means I'm gonna max it out on both sides and hopefully it doesn't hit. I think we should be good and I'm super hyped, guys. It's gonna look so good once everything's all done so let me just finish up the other side and I'll show you guys what the car looks like it's all maxed out now just gotta tighten it put the airline back on and we're good all right so I'm doing my second test drive right now and it looks like everything's fine I don't hear any weird noises so I think we're good but guys let me tell you the Femin is so damn good in the front it looks it looks perfect to me honestly can't really complain too much it's not fender lip unfortunately but it's super super close I think at this point it's just that um, my tire is already sitting on the fender and it's not clearing anymore so um, that's probably the reason why but I mean I'm still really happy with it because my car is like super slammed from the front and it finally looks like it's bagged. That's like one thing that's been bothering me ever since I bagged my car is that it didn't look like it was bagged from the front for some reason unless I put like a lip on it. But I'm gonna show you guys right now as soon as I get to the spot I'm gonna shoot some photos of my car so as soon as I get there I'll show you guys what the car looks like. I was gonna park right there but unfortunately there's people fishing so we gotta find another spot. Look how slammed my car is now. This thing looks so much better. Like, look at this thing. This thing is literally almost on the floor. I could barely put my foot in there. Look at that. Damn, this thing looks crazy. But I am gonna be adding a lip to the front, so this thing's literally just gonna be on straight out on the floor. I'm gonna do the GT4 lip on the front, and then I'm gonna add side skirt extensions on the side. And with the rear, I'm not really sure what I want to do yet back here, but I'm thinking for sure a carbon fiber CSL trunk. And then like on the bumper, I don't know, maybe like changing up my exhaust or maybe just keep it like that. Just kind of keep it simple, but ah, I don't know what I want to do. Maybe comment down below what you guys think I should do with the rear. Should I just keep it like this or should I add other stuff to it? But for sure, I'm going to be adding some side skirt extensions and a GT4 lip in the front just so it looks a lot more lower. Really stoked that I was able to get my front fin all dialed in. I'm really happy with how it came out. This is all I'm going to do for today. Tomorrow I'm going to be messing around with the rear camber. And this is all going to be the same video. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. And hopefully we can get the fin all dialed in in the back. And then we get the car aligned on Saturday or maybe Monday. That way I don't mess up my tires that much. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. What's up guys, welcome back to day number two. Today we're going to be adjusting the rear camber. Yesterday we got the fronts all dialed in. Now it's just a matter of getting the rears just like the front. I'm just gonna try to get it fender to lip and I think my fin is gonna be literally perfect all around. Should match the front, so it's gonna look really good. Can't wait to show you guys. So let's get to work guys. Hopefully everything goes good. So here's the way that I'm doing it. So I unlocked both of the nuts on each end. This one right here and this one over here. And that allows this middle part right here to spin freely. So if you wanna add more positive camber, just spin it to the right. And if you want to add negative, spin to the left, and you can see the whole assembly start going inwards. So I'm going to do the same on the other side, just undo everything, leave it loose, and then I'm just going to adjust the camber from the bottom with the wheel on, and try to get my wheel where I want it to be. 
I want to try something out real quick so I got a floor jack and I loaded the suspension on this side I zeroed out my bags and it's almost I would say pretty much the same thing as the car being on the floor so I think this might be a lot easier than undoing the jack getting the car on the floor see where your car is at raise it up adjust the camber again I just think this is gonna be much easier and I think it's working so far so I still need to bring out this one a little bit more so I'm gonna adjust the camber right now and see how close we can get it I got this side all done and I got it to where I wanted to be but now the toe is really really messed up I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera but this wheel is pointing out towards the right On this side over here guys it kind of looks like it has a lot of positive camber but at the same time i feel like it might be the toe so i'm gonna take it to the alignment shop actually right now so i'm gonna get it aligned and see if the toe strains out the wheel if not then i'm gonna have to put a spacer on it but i don't know let's take this thing to the alignment shop real quick I was able to get my car aligned everything is straight now the car drives so much better than it did before I swear adding so much camber to your car really compromises the whole handling aspect of your car but I did take off most of the camber off the rear right now it's at about negative 1.5 which is pretty much as stock so that's my ride height and as soon as I air it out it's at about that negative 2 ish negative 3 ish range and it looks really good it matches the front I think you guys are really gonna like it I'm gonna show you guys as soon as I do get home um, I am pretty far from home so um, as soon as I get closer over there, I'll show you guys what it looks like. I just aired out the car right now. It's at zero PSI in every single bag. And this is what it looks like. Not exactly between the tire and the lip. It still looks really good in my opinion. And I think it looks better than what I had it before. If you guys look at it from the side. You can see matching camber all around. This side, about the same as the other side. Still pokes out a lot. Look at that. Has a little bit more camber in the back. But anyways, I'm gonna end this video right here. I still have to edit this, try to upload this tomorrow. I usually upload on Fridays, but I wanted to do this today and get all this stuff dialed in because Beer and Fest is literally right around the corner and I still have a lot more things I wanna do, guys. So make sure you guys are tuned with the channel. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit that bell notifications, leave a like on this video, comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Talk to you guys later.